In this sponsor tutorial, we're going to check out the kicker theme and everything it has to offer. It's a pretty slick theme. If you want to make newspaper or magazine style websites, it's pretty awesome. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass and WP Learning Lab. We, we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. This is a theme forest page for the kicker theme. And if you have a site that publishes a lot of content and you want to have it display like a magazine or a newspaper, this theme is fantastic. There's a lot of different layout options that I'm going to show you in this tutorial. And most importantly on this page, we see all the features. So for that, you should come and check it out. There's a link to it in the description down below. But we also see that it meets all WP requirements for the Envato market, which is important because that makes sure that these themes work properly with your websites. And it also has the well-documented badge here, which means there's a lot of documentation. And once you've bought this theme, you download the file and then you can upload the file and install it onto your WordPress site and then install a demo theme. And before we see how all that works, I want to show you a few demos that come with this theme. Let's click on preview item. You can navigate here as well. The link to that main page is down below and it will take you to this demo page. And then you click on demos and it takes you down to where all the demos are. Currently there are over 30 of them. And you click on any one of these to see a full demo of these websites. Let's check out this art one right here. And these come with full demo data. So you can import these directly to your site. And these are complete websites. They have blog posts and everything. Obviously, you don't want to publish blog posts with lorem ipsum text, but it's the layout you're looking for. You're looking for a design that is really close to what you want, what your clients want, and you can quickly and easily change it to be exactly what you want. And these all have lots and lots of pages to scroll through. You can see in the menu on the left over here, there are lots and lots of demo pages that are going to be imported and that you can create the perfect theme from. So that's pretty awesome. Let's just check out post style number five, different post style layout. You would probably only pick one of the post styles and have that for all your blog posts, even though you could use plugins to have different blog post layouts for different posts if you really wanted to. That's pretty slick. Let's check out this comics one right here. Nice clean layout, great graphics for comic books. Of course, you want to make your own graphics and that would be the hardest part for a site like this is making the graphics for these posts. But if you can figure that out, the layouts are great. Let's click into there, Avengers Endgame, the spoiler free review. And it just looks clean and, and great and very usable. And all of these come integrated with WooCommerce. You can see the shopping icon up here. Click on the shop to see the shop and all the products in the shop. These are not comic related, but you get the idea. Click on any one of them. You can add them to your cart. You can check out. And I'm pretty sure every one of the themes that come with Kicker have optimized pages for WooCommerce as well, like you see right here. Let's check out the viral page or the viral demo, I should say like the blog post on the top. That's pretty handy, just like you'd find on a news site. And if you hover over the menu, you can see there's mega menus as well that include pictures. That's pretty slick. Lots of different post styles again. Every demo has a lot, a lot, a lot of design work done to it. So I encourage you to go to the page that I'm currently on. Well, not this one right here, but I encourage you to go to this page right here where it has all the demos and check some out just like I'm doing here to find the ones that you like. And you'll probably discover that they are pretty great. Let's check out two more. Let's look at cars. Nice big images of nice big cars. I like the scrolling sidebar in this section right here. And these are all Elementor based templates as well. So you can add them directly in Elementor, which I know you like to hear because Elementor makes things a lot easier. Let's look at a blog portfolio page for something different. Nice masonry grid layout. Let's look at the video playlist. We're gonna look at all this stuff in depth in the tutorial. I just wanna give you a quick preview of what we're getting at. Video playlist here. Super easy to create and build. Let's look at one more. Let's look at the reviews demo. We see we have ratings integrated here. There's a five out of five that shows right up on 
the home page or the blog roll, wherever that ends up being. It's overlay around the images, which is pretty handy. If you click in any one of these, there's a special review post that comes with the kicker theme and it has a review widget. Let's see if it's on this post here. Here it is right here. This is the review widget where you fill out data about your product that you're reviewing and you basically give your honest review and a score and you can have a link to buy from various locations including Amazon or from your own store or from some other third party store where you get a commission. And they have all the schema markup for reviews as well. So Google and search engines will see these as review pages, which sometimes search engines will pull in data like your star ratings from your post and put them right in the search results, which is pretty awesome. So let's just close all these tabs here. Now let's actually go into the dashboard of our WordPress site and install the kicker theme and start creating something awesome. I have a demo site right over here. We're gonna install the theme. We are gonna change it from this very basic looking website to a super cool magazine with just a few clicks. So let's log into our admin and then go to appearance and themes. Go to add new, upload theme, choose your theme file, and then open it, then click install now, and then click on activate. Then click on install, which is gonna install and activate the theme Rex add-ons plugin, which is required to make the theme work properly. And then click on activate. And then we're gonna enter our purchase information right here. And then we have to check this privacy box here, then click on submit. Now we're gonna go through the simple setup process and install all the stuff the theme needs and then pick a cool demo that we can check out on our website. First of all, we have to decide whether we want a child theme or not. We can choose this or click this button here to create a child theme. And a child theme allows you to edit files, template files, without editing the parent version, the template files, the parent theme version, which means the parent theme can be updated without affecting the changes in your child theme template files. It's fairly advanced. It's not something you really need these days because you can customize pretty much everything about the theme in the customizer or using the Elementor page builder, which this theme is compatible with. So a child theme is probably not necessary, but if you think it is, go ahead and install the child theme here. And I have tutorials about child themes as well. I'll link to those in the card above and the description down below. I'm going to not install a child theme in this case and just go with the customization options that come built into the theme. I'm going to click on start setup. Then you can pick the skin you want for your site. There are currently 34 of them. There's new ones always being added. And you can preview any one of them by hovering over it and clicking on live preview. It'll take you to a live preview. And this isn't just the home page. You can go and see other pages as well. Blog pages, standard pages, video playlists, banner ads, auto load, next posts, and other designs. Click on any of them. It'll go to a page where it showcases that design for this skin. And like I said, there are 34 different skins, all of them containing multiple pages, multiple layouts. And you can browse through all of them and check out live previews for all of them in here. And if you find one you like, you click on download, then you click on OK, and then it'll download to your server, and then you can install that skin. I'm just going to stick with the standard one because it's awesome and it's already installed. I'm just going to update it by clicking on update here. You may or may not see that update button, but if you do, it's always good to update. And if you're on a live site, it's always best to back up your site first just because you never know if something will go wrong. It's pretty rare these days, but you just want to be safe just in case. I have a backup tutorial teaching you how to backup and restore a site in the card up above and the description down below if you want to check those out. Now that it's updated, we can scroll down and go to skip step. Now we have to install all the plugins. You don't need to install every one of these. You can pick and choose. You can click on deselect all and just pick the ones you want. For example, maybe you have WooCommerce, maybe you don't. So choose WooCommerce or not, depending on what you have on your site. You might want to use Contact Form 7. You might not want to use it. So you can pick and choose which ones you want to install. I'm going to select all and install all of them because I want to make sure that no features are missing when I install the demo content. Sometimes if you don't have the right plugins installed and you install a demo and the plugin isn't there that needs to support something in the demo, then it, the demo is not going to work right. So I'm going to select all of them, click on install and activate. And I'll just pause this video while this runs. I'll be back in just a second. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. Installation is complete. Now we're taken to the demo data page. On the right hand side, we see a system check to make sure our system has enough power, enough resources to run all the options, all the components of this theme. If any of these are red, 
you should contact your host's support to see if you can bump these up. For some of these, I have tutorials on the channel like PHP memory limit and I think max import variables. I have videos on how to improve those or increase those on your server. But for other ones, you're going to have to, and PHP version upgrade, I have a video for that as well. For others, you're going to have to contact your hosting provider to have them help you increase these things. Or you can Google it if you're not afraid of doing some tech work and a little bit of coding. Very small amount of coding is just usually adding one snippet of code, like one sentence, and then you increase these limits. Or even just changing a number in an existing sentence. Either way, if these are green, that's great. If it's red, you got some work to do. On the left hand side, we can choose our demo data import. We can either have a partial import, which means we only import what we select. For example, if we check import only selected pages and we select just typography and home and about to and not home to, not any of these other homes. And keep everything else. All the ones that are selected will be imported. You also choose to import theme options, plugin settings, and widgets separately, or not at all, depending on what you choose. This is what you do if you're installing this theme on an existing site and you just want to have certain components installed on that site. I would not recommend doing it this way. I would recommend doing a full import, and this is going to wipe your site. If you go to full import, we get a little warning saying all data will be erased. You can't get it back. Click OK, and we keep everything checked, and everything on the site will be deleted as far as plugins, theme files, and widgets and stuff like that goes. And it's going to import all the demo data and import the demo exactly as we see it in the preview. If you do a piecemeal in the partial import, it might not be exactly like you saw it in the preview. So the safest is always full import on a brand new website install. So that's what I'm choosing here. I'm going to click on start import. I'm going to pause this video again while this imports. Usually the first few are pretty fast and the media, which is all the images and video and stuff like that, that takes a while longer. Either way, I'm going to pause it and once it's done, I'll be back. Now we're on the quick setup page and we can choose theme colors. I'm just going to go with the defaults, but if you already know what colors your brand requires, you can change them here. You can also change these later on inside the customizer so you can see the updates in real time. Because I can change accent color one, but I don't know exactly where those changes are happening in the theme, but inside the customizer, we'd be able to see that. So my recommendation is save these changes for later unless you're familiar with the theme already. We can update our logo. We can choose our body style to be wide or full screen. And these thumbnails are a representation of what that looks like. We have content in the middle or stretched all the way across. So you pick either one of those. I'm going to stick with wide. You have three options for sidebar for the main site, none, left, and right. We also have different options for the blog page. We have a posts page settings section. This is for the page that will list all the blog posts on your site. You have six different layouts you can choose from here. And all these settings here can be changed in the customizer and the theme options later. So you don't have to change them now. Or if you do make a change and you don't like it, you can always change it in the settings or in the customizer. You have pagination style options, including infinite scroll, which means content just keeps appearing as you scroll down. You don't have to click a button or anything like that. And here's the sidebar for the blog post page. You can set sidebar widgets right here. Or if you just choose sidebar widgets, you can set these inside of appearance and then widgets and just drag and drop the widgets into the sidebar like you normally would in a regular WordPress theme. Here are your choices for the style of a blog page or an individual blog page. And there are lots. There are 14 different styles to choose from. I'm just going to keep the one they have selected, style 10, and then click on finish. And now we're inside the theme options for the theme. You can find them on the theme panel and then theme options. There's a lot more settings here. We just did the quick setup. If you go through all of these, there are lots and lots of settings. And all these are very well explained. A lot of descriptions for the ones that might not make intuitive sense. And go through any of these and then customize your site that way. You also have the ability to go into appearance and then customize. And you'll notice the menu system on the left here is the same. And you can make changes in here and see them appearing live on the right hand side. That's the way I like to do it because you can actually see changes happening. You don't have to save it, go back out to the site, refresh, see what happened. You can do it right in here and see the changes immediately. So I prefer working in the customizer. I'm going to X out of here for now. And on the right hand side, we have the ability to export options. So if you build a lot of websites for clients, you might have a specific set of options that you'd like to start a site with. You can export them. And then when you start a new site, you can import them and save yourself a whole lot of work. 
if you're changing a lot of these options. And as you know, we have a skin on the site, which we're going to check out in just a minute, but you can actually change it if you want to. So we can go to the skins manager. You can also get here via theme panel, theme dashboard, and then go to the skins tab and you can choose a different one if you want. So let's say we installed this one, but it just wasn't working for what we need. You come back into here, you pick a different one and you import it and you just overwrite all the theme settings and theme files and theme pages from the first skin to implement the second one and see if that one works better for you. So let's go check out how this skin actually looks. So let's go to visit site and this is how the default demo skin looks and I think it looks fantastic. That's one of the reasons we chose the default because it's just as great as any of the other skins on there. Just because it's the default doesn't mean it's the worst skin they have. It's just the one that's pre-installed and ready to use. The other ones are also fantastic, but as far as a default goes, this one's pretty awesome. So before we get anything else, I want to go through all the pages we have on a demo site like this to see what this theme can do. Then you get a better idea of whether it'll meet your needs. And then later on, I'll show you more specifically how to customize specific things inside the customizer. So let's go up to the top. Actually, we don't need to. The menu system follows us down. If you hover over any of these links in the nav, we have a drop down. We have a lot of homepage options, a lot of features with drop downs in the drop downs. A lot of post styles. We're not going to go through every single one because there's a lot. And each skin has the same amount, but different looks and different layouts. There's so many different options you can have with this theme. It's incredible. Under shop, this is specific to WooCommerce sites. We have some options there as well. So we're going to start with the home page and see how it changes with these various layouts. I'm just going to open all the home pages in different tabs so we get to them a little faster. As you can see, this skin has 12 home pages. This is the first one. Images lazy load. They come in as you scroll down, which helps with site speed. The video widgets in here as well. Click on the video, opens in a light box. It's pretty slick. I like how we have this floating piece that comes with you as the right side scrolls in this section. And these are all created with Elementor, by the way. There's an edit with Elementor on all these pages because they're all Elementor compatible and created with Elementor. So if you like Elementor, this could be a theme for you. So that's the first home page. The second one has a very different layout. As you can see, same menu system, but everything else is laid out differently inside of the home page. So then it becomes your job to find exactly what kind of layout you want and what features you want in your layout. For example, you might like to have these blog posts appear above the menu system, which I think is pretty slick. And since these are created with Elementor, you could copy this widget into a custom made home page just for you that you mix and match. So maybe you like this widget from this home page and maybe you like this big video widget, you can copy that one over. And maybe from homepage number four, you like this header area to go below the menu or behind the menu. You can copy from here and use that on your custom homepage. So you can mix and match all these different components if you want to, or just pick a homepage and customize it as it is and use the layouts that they have here, which I think are great layouts. Like if you're just getting started and you just want to create content, choosing any one of these layouts would be fantastic just to get started, create content, and then customize it down the road if you find that you need to customize it. And here we have a WooCommerce widget showing products. If you click on them, of course, it'll go to the WooCommerce page. Another homepage layout. The content widgets down below are more or less the same. Different sizes, different, um, different alignments, things like that. But what's really different between the homepages is the header section. I really like the blog post on the right hand side. I also really like this one over here. Number four, has blog post links down below. I also really like the blog items up above the menu. This guy kind of scares me, but I like this layout for the header area. And then down below, they're all kind of the same. Really the standout area is the header for all these different home pages. Let's just look at the header section. This is, it goes right into the blog post, no real header. This one as well. This one as well. I feel like those ones aren't true headers like you'd see on most themes, this one too. 
but this I feel is like a true header. Big image on the top, text overlaid. So some of them are true headers, some of them get right into the blog post, which I don't think they're true headers, but they're still very functional. If that's what your site needs, that's what this theme can produce for you. Let's close all those tabs and let's check out the features. Let's check out the blog page, blog band, and these would be different for the different skins as well. So we see our blog listing page here. Our sidebar follows us down. We've got the pagination down at the bottom. We see under categories, we have a mega menu. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, let's see, block standard. I should open these in a new tab as well, each of them. More standard blog page. Let's open these new tabs. Block classic, classic sidebar. Portfolio, portfolio with sidebar. Mason redesign. Pretty standard type blog layouts you've seen on these before. These are all customizable with Elementor, which is a great feature because Elementor is pretty popular. So those are different blog page layouts that are by default, and you can customize them completely. Like you can just have one of these as a starting point and create whatever you want because Elementor is just click and drag and drop. You can add whatever you want into those pages. Let's check out the About page number one. And here's how it looks. Again, pretty standard. Nothing super revolutionary on the about page, but it's nice and clean and it, it helps you design faster just by having these pre-created for you. Let's just open these in new tabs again. About two. Looks fantastic. No two ways about it. Contact page. You got a map in here if you want to add a map. Comes with a built-in form. And this is probably built with Contact Form 7. That's one of the plugins that we installed earlier in that plugin installation page. Typography shows you the typography options that you have. Not just typography, but also video and image alignment and captions and audio and tables. I like the table design. Call to actions, inputs, buttons, and these are just the defaults. You can customize these any way you like. The authors page where you could list the authors on your site or members of your team. 404 page, something went wrong, go back home. Nice 404 page. And then we have different header styles. Lots and lots. There's header one. I like the shopping cart info on the top right. And follower count for your social media platforms. You often see the buttons themselves, but not often do you see follower counts for those. Header style number two. Number three, we saw these when we were going through the home pages. In fact, that's really what stood out in each home page. Number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, and number ten. And these can be customized completely, however you want to customize them. So I'm not going to go through every single page and every single option because there are so many of them. We're just going to do the highlights. If you do want to go through every single one, I encourage you to go to the kicker page on Theme Forest. It's linked to in the description down below. Go to preview item and then under demos, every one of these options is one of the skins that we could have installed when we created our site. We use the default one because that was installed already. All the other ones you have to download and install. It takes a little bit longer, but not much. But either way, you can see all the skins here and view all these different pages and different layouts and different designs and different widgets and different everything on all these different skins. So then A, you don't have to watch me do it. And then B, you don't have to install each one individually on your site to go through them all. You can see them all right here live, which is super convenient. So if you do wanna see all the different skins and all the different stuff they have going on, come to this page, theme forest page, click on preview item, Go to demos, pick any one of these, then you'll be able to navigate through all the pages that those skins offer. Let's go back to our site. As I said, we're gonna show some of the highlights here. Let's go to features again. Video playlists, Elementor just added a video playlist widget for I believe it was Elementor Pro, not free, just the Pro. And so these playlists would have been pretty hard to build before Elementor created that widget. So maybe these ones you can replicate pretty easily using that new Elementor Pro widget. But either way, video playlists, are very slick. This one looks less like a playlist than the first one. This one looks like a real playlist. Number two, 
Still a playlist, but looks a little less like a playlist. Number three looks like a playlist again. Number four, a little less like a playlist again. Either way, video playlists, banner ads, all different kinds of positions. We're gonna look at the all positions page and this will show us all the positions. There's one up here, one right here. As we scroll down, we'll see these placeholders for different ad locations. And this is where you could put ads. This is where you could sell ad space. This is also not a requirement. Just because this ad is right here doesn't mean it has to be right here. Just because this ad is right here doesn't mean it has to be right there. You can move it wherever you want. But if you're on an ad platform like Ezoic, where you pick your ad placements and you're supposed to pick 10 to 15 of them for a page, this is really convenient. It shows you possible locations for you, making that a little bit easier. At the bottom, and then it might be one at the very bottom. There it is at the very, very bottom. It's also important to note that each individual ad spot can have its own AdSense code. So you go to AdSense, you create the ad of the size that you need, and you put them in those ads, in those ad locations we just saw, and then those ad sizes are perfectly fit and perfectly placed to work with the theme and not stand out and make them annoying because they fit right into the theme and they're designed to be there. So having all these suggested ad placements is really handy for you to get a good layout for your ads and not annoy your visitors. Auto load next post, standard. I have a feeling when we scroll down, it's going to auto load the next post. Kind of like infinite scroll. Nope, didn't. Yep, did. It's right there. We can see on the right hand side, we have the up button and this little circle, the white one goes around as we scroll. So depending how long your post is, up at the top as well, you can see your, how far you've gone down in your post. We have the next one. So it's kind of like infinite scroll on the blog post page, but it's infinite scroll for blog posts themselves. And that's the auto load next post option. We have pop-ups as well, built right in. There's a slide out. This one should appear in the bottom right. There it is right there. It slides out and then the pop-up is, or sorry, the, the newsletter pop-up is an actual pop-up. There it is right there. And these can be customized. You don't have to have an extra plugin and you can customize them to your heart's content. And they're built right in, which makes it easier and faster for you to create those things. There's post styles with no sidebar, with a right sidebar, left sidebar, video post, audio post, gallery post. Let's just look at one of each of these. So first we have the blog post, no sidebar. So this is one of the blog post styles. There's 14 to choose from. Most of them will be changing things like the header layout, the position of the metadata, the title, the author, the date, where the photographs end up going by default, how big they are, where related posts show up, things like that, that'll change between different styles. But they're all there to display post content and they're all there to be clean and look great. So you have 14 different options just in this skin for different blog post layouts. This is one with a sidebar right here, which appears after the header image. Scrolls down with us, which is handy. This is one with the left sidebar. Again, scrolls with us, just like the right, only it's on the left. This is a video post. We click on the video and it plays the video. And there's a bunch of different video sources you can have as well. If we go to well, the post styles and video post supported videos, there's YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook, Daily Motion, TED, and self hosted. So these are really easy to embed. You probably just add a link. Self-hosted might be a little more complicated, might have a few more steps. You might have to upload a video to Amazon S3, set it to public, get a link, put the link into the theme, and then it'll work. It's not that hard if you've done it before, but these ones would just be way easier. And this page that we're on, we chose the sticky video page. So we have the video up here, let's just play it. And as we scroll down, we see it appearing in the bottom right. So it's sticky and it follows us down the page. I like this feature a lot. Next, we have the audio post style. This is audio only. Looks like it might be a video, but it's just an image. That's probably the featured image of this post and it just plays the audio. If that's a podcast, you have the show notes down here. 
nice simple audio embed. And then we have gallery posts, which is a photo gallery. You see the gallery up here. We can click and drag and scroll. So it's not really a true gallery page, even though we chose one of the gallery styles, style, style two, but it's still a set of pictures that could be construed as a gallery. And we also have the ability, as you saw in some of those templates, to add related posts. And there's a lot of different positions we can put them in. And this right here is post styles, related posts, all positions. So we can see where related posts can appear. They can appear on the right over here. You can put them here in line with the text if you want. You could have them appear as a standout block like this. You can have them outside of the post area. And here's another option inside. Here's another in the middle that doesn't stand out as much as the first one. This depends on what your design is. You could have this stand out a lot if you wanted to. But by default, this is how related posts would look for you. There's a lot of options for putting related posts. And the more related posts you have on your site and the better they relate to the content the person is currently reading, the more likely it is they'll read more posts, which means more page views, which means more ads being shown, which means more revenue. So related posts are definitely a powerful thing to have on your site. We also have comments and they look like this right here. So this is a comment that someone left and this is a reply two comments that have been left and a second reply, a third reply. You get the idea. So that's how comments display. And these images will be pulled from these people's Gravatar account. And most people don't have a Gravatar account. So these look really nice with these thumbnails, but don't expect people commenting on your site to have thumbnails because they probably don't have them. <laughs> so you might have a silhouette here or you might have a plugin installed that replaces the silhouettes with other images, but likely not nice looking thumbnails for every person that comments on your site. And we also have review posts. This is a old school camera review post. And here is where the review widget comes in. We can give it a rating. We can describe it, positive, negatives, pros and cons, whatever you want to call those. The review breakdown allows you to give scores for specific categories. And you can set these. Just because it says graphics, gameplay, and pricing here, it doesn't mean those are the ones you have to use. You can use whichever ones you want and give them whichever score you want and then link to wherever you want. It could be your store. It could be someone else's store. It could be Amazon with, through that link right there. So that's a review style post. And here's how an updated post displays. This is not super common for themes. I have a video showing how to do it manually by adding code to your site. You can have this happen on any theme that you're running on your site. But here it comes built in. And we can see here published. This is very common seeing it when it was published. But then this one was updated on this date right here. And that's very uncommon, seeing the update date. Every single post that's ever updated, even if you don't display it on your site, it is in the database. And there's some code you can use to draw it out. And it's built right into the theme. So that's super handy. Because quite often when I look up content, especially content that seems to me like it's timely, like for example, today's news, I want to see today's date or I want to see an older date, but then updated today to make it more relevant and more relevant to right now. So I think that's the only place where it showed the update on here. Yeah, that's it. But it's a feature you don't often see. And then we have a sponsored post or a sponsored content tag right here. We see an ad at the top, which would be the sponsors ad. And if you have a big enough following on your site, you can definitely sell sponsored posts. Another ad space, you can put ad space wherever you want. You negotiate this with the sponsor or not even negotiate. You'd probably have guidelines for your site where you allow ads to appear and then sponsors just say, okay, that's great. I want to sponsor a post. Then you put their ads wherever ads appear on your site. And if they want special treatment, then you can negotiate higher prices or whatever it is you want to negotiate with that sponsor. And we also have AMP pages built right in. These are pages that load a lot faster. They, they take out a lot of the JavaScript on a page. So Google picks these up and loads them super quick. You've probably seen these on mobile. That's where they most commonly appear. The whole site is mobile optimized, but AMP is like hyper mobile. So if you change to a mobile phone, we see it looks very nice on mobile. And Google will be loading this lickety split. 
because it's an AMP page. And then we also have product pages if you have WooCommerce installed. Here's our shop. Clicking into any one of these, of course, takes you to the single product. There's different layouts built in for the single product pages. You have a single product here, related products down below. And with the single product, all you can really do is add the number of products that you want and add them to your cart. Then we have variable products, nice designs for different colors. They're pretty much the same as a single product, but they give you different options. In this case, we have different colors we can choose from. Then we can also choose a different number. Everything else is the same. Then click on add to cart to add to your cart. We can also sell affiliate products. Here we have a steel mug, but we don't actually sell it on our site. We have a details button that will take you to the affiliate site. And I would recommend if you use this to say what's going to happen. In the description, right above the button, I would say click the button below to visit so-and-so's website, whom I'm an affiliate of, and this product's great, so make sure you check it out on their site, and I get a commission, blah de blah blah and even on the button itself, I'd say details, and then in brackets, I would say something like goes to a different site, or off-site, or if it goes to Amazon, I'd write Amazon in brackets. Just so people know when they click it, it's gonna go somewhere else. If you don't do that, and someone clicks it, and all of a sudden, they're on a different URL, the page looks totally different, they're gonna be like, whoa, what just happened? I wanna get out of here because they weren't expecting that. So make sure you tell them that's happening so they can expect it. On the cart page, we see our cart. Let's just add a product to our cart. Click on view cart. And we see our cart right here. Pretty standard WooCommerce cart, just different styling applied, different sizes for things. It looks much nicer than a standard WooCommerce cart, but it is still the standard layout. Your items here, your totals here, Proceed to checkout here, and here we can proceed to checkout. Also standard WooCommerce setup for this. Well, not really. There's probably options to change this, but quite often you have the notes at the bottom and then the your order appearing on the right-hand side up here, depending on which layouts you have available. Either way, you fill out this form and you order and it goes into your WooCommerce. And that's the highlights of the skins for the default kicker theme. And if you recall, if you want to see more, go to this page. We get here from the Kicker theme page on Theme Forest. There's a link to here in the description down below. It's not an affiliate link, so don't worry about that. Just come here, go to Preview Item, and then go to Demos. Go to any one of these and see what kind of demo pages they have. As you can see, just for the default theme, there are a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm going to close all these because it's a lot going on up there. And now we're going to go into the dashboard and see what we can do inside the dashboard. The number one place you'll be making changes is inside the customizer that we saw earlier. We'll go back to that in just a minute. But first, I want to show you some other places that you might not be aware of that you can make changes for this skin and all the skins that come with the kicker theme. There's the layouts option here. If we click on there, we see layouts that are pretty well titled. Sub menu for categories, for wide and for boxed. Submenu for design, box style, footer designs. These are all in Elementor. Click on edit with Elementor for any one of these and you can start customizing it inside of Elementor. You can also create new layouts and then these will go in spaces in areas where you specify them to go. It's kind of like Elementor templates, but you can do it with the free version of Elementor because this template system is built into the kicker theme. You don't need to have the pro version of Elementor to get the power of templates. We have GDPR cookie consent. This was the plugin that we installed. That was the cookie notice that I clicked away at the footer earlier in the video. We have the AMP plugin installed. What this allows us to do is create AMP pages and you can customize them as well. If we go to appearance, we have AMP right here. If we click on that, it takes us into a customizer like area where we can decide what is shown on our site as far as AMP pages go. We can uncheck these boxes and it turns off whatever it is that we want to turn off. So turn off all these and it's not updating live unless all those weren't on there to begin with. But then we click on publish and then those options will not be present on the AMP pages. So that's pretty handy. And we have the theme Rex pop up right here. The pop ups are built right into theme Rex. So you can use the free version of Elementor and still have pop ups, which is an Elementor Pro widget. So with theme Rex, you can just use the free version and still have pop-ups. You can customize them here. And if we go to appearance and widgets, we see we have a lot, a lot, a lot 
of sidebar areas and footer areas and front page areas and WooCommerce areas and AMP areas where we can add widgets. We just drag and drop from here, add them to any of these sections, and then they appear where the title describes them to be appearing. And you're gonna spend the bulk of your customization time inside of the customizer. If we go to appearance and customize, we saw this earlier in the video. This is where you can customize pretty much everything to do with the display and design of the skin. So we change our logo and site identity in here, and it'll change our logo and site identity, which is pretty basic stuff. It's really just the title of your site, the tagline, and then logo settings for various devices. You can have a logo for Retina, logo for mobile header, logo for mobile header on Retina, logo for mobile menu, logo for mobile on Retina. And this is something you wanna do in mobile mode, obviously changing the mobile logos to make sure that they appear as they should. We see when we click on the menu, everything goes black and shows a white logo. That's why we have white logos appearing here. And so if we were to have this black logo, which is the default one, appear on the menu as well, you couldn't see it. So that's why I have different colors of logos. And let's go back up and then go to general. You can change our body style from boxed. Boxed means there's white space on the edges. We saw this in the setup at the very beginning we can choose different options and have those appear on the page. A lot of different options to choose from. All you do is click, it changes over here, and you can see if you like those changes or not. And then you just click on publish, and that makes those changes live. If you're working with a client, you can click on this gear, and then go save draft, save the draft, and then you can send them this link right here, which shows them the changes you made but not live changes. It shows what you've done in draft mode inside the customizer. They can approve it. Then you can go back here, go to publish, click on publish, and that'll make those changes live. So that's a pretty handy feature. That's built right into WordPress. That's not a kicker theme thing. It's a WordPress thing, but it's super handy, especially for client work. You can customize the header in the header section. As you can see, there's lots of options for all of these. Well described as well. And there's documentation online docs right here. Let's click over to that. We can see there's a lot of doc options. All these have sub options. So there's a lot of documentation. If there's something in here that you don't understand, it'll be in the documentation. If it's not in the documentation, you can come over here and go to the support tab and you can ask questions of the author in here. As long as you have up to date support, you get six months support when you buy the theme. You can extend it to 12 by checking this box. It raises the price a little bit, but it's still very affordable for all the powerful, powerful things you can do with this theme. We have footer options, not too many. These footer styles, and we also have these for the header as well. We can choose a header style. This is in the template section that we saw. Let me just X out of here so I can show you what I'm talking about. We saw these layouts earlier, and you'll notice footer style 11, one through 11, header style one through 11. And if we go back to customize, we see those same header one through 11 and footer one through 11 options right here. So that's where we can select those to appear on our site. So you create the layout there and then you can choose to have them appear using these options that you see inside of the customizer. We have specific mobile options, not too many options in there. You can customize the menus in here. Click on any one of these. You can change what appears in the menus. Click on add items. This is a WordPress function. Some extra things will be in here that isn't default or that aren't default in WordPress, for example, AMP menus. Most of this will function just like you used to if you've used WordPress before. The widgets allow you to navigate your widget areas. They don't appear here. Sometimes they do. I think because this theme has so many widget areas, they didn't put them into the customizer. So those are all under appearance and widgets, which we saw earlier. Our homepage settings, we can choose which homepage appears at, as the homepage, which blog page appears as the blog post page. This is a default WordPress setting. We have blog options, choose different blog styles. We saw some of these options in the setup at the very beginning. And I said, if you don't like what you choose in the beginning or you don't choose anything and you wanna customize it later, you can customize all those things here. Post page, categories, tags, author, search, single posts. And there's a lot of different options in each one of these. There's 14 different post styles. That's just one of the sections, one of the options in one of the sections for the blog post. 
There's a lot of customizing you can do. You can customize the shop and you can customize WooCommerce, which is also the shop, but it's just WooCommerce general customization settings like store notice for your entire store, whereas the shop is specific to the shop page, but it's still part of WooCommerce. You can customize your typography here. Just click into any one of these elements. You can customize them as you need. You'll see the changes live inside the preview on the right and your colors are set right here. These are all the options that we saw when we first installed the theme. Click on advanced, there's a lot more options for changing colors in here. So instead of choosing the colors in the beginning when you don't know where they go, you can change them in the customizer and you can see what's actually being changed. And you can choose your colors in a much more targeted fashion because you know what's happening. And you can add additional CSS. So if you know CSS, you can add it here. This is a default WordPress customizer functionality. This is not added by the kicker theme. If you change anything, make sure you save draft or publish it because you don't want to have your changes go unsaved because it can be a lot of work sometimes to redo what you did if you made a lot of changes. And so if you like what you saw on this theme, go to this page. It's linked in the description down below, and this will give you even more information. And right now, there's a $19 price point. It's going to keep increasing, but right now it's $19, which is super cheap, super cheap compared to what it will be in the future. And then if we scroll down here, you can see a lot of the features in written text. Here it shows 25 different skins to customize and install. There are now 34. So since this was launched, which was not that long ago, a few weeks, they already added nine more skins. So scroll through there, check out what they have to offer. Then go to preview item, hover over demos, check out all these different demos. Check out the one that's perfect for you and use that on your site and customize it to your needs or your customers' needs. But going through the demos here is gonna be a whole lot faster than installing each individual one on your site and checking them out there. Once you've built your website using Kicker or any other theme, make sure it's fast. Check out this playlist right here to help you speed up your WordPress sites. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Alpass. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.